Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's time to welcome the second Poppy Parker from the In Pam Springs collection. She's titled Resort Ready and she's designed by David Buttery. Three poppies from this collection were presented to us. She's the second one after the upgrade poppy Pink Lemonade that I already reviewed. The third named Desert Dazzler will arrive later this year. Unfortunately, the whole collection itself has been delayed. I really hope we see the In Pam Springs sequel very soon. Maybe we'll see a new ginger, or a new friend, even a man. This new puppy is the first W Club doll from 2021, and she's a limited edition of 3,700 pieces worldwide. The doll costs $165. Okay, let's unpack the doll. We have a brand new packaging created by Alan Tremblay, especially for the Pam Springs collection. I love the graphics and the gold lining on the side. A really pretty box. Now, let's open it. And here she is. Wow, she's gorgeous. She has the dark A-tone skin tone and this is the very first time she appears in that tone. Her hair colour is black. She has a beautiful neutral makeup palette. I love the metallic gold eyeshadow and a neutral lip. Not too red, not too pink. Her eyelashes are hand applied. She has the Poppy Parker 1.5 body type with high heeled and articulated ankle foot sculpt. Here's the Certificate of Authenticity. It's a huge addition. Let's check the accessory drawer. We have a miniature liquor bottle. Some miniature ice cubes. A first pair of blue high-heeled shoes. A second pair of gold shoes. A set of jewellery with earrings, a bracelet, a ring and sunglasses. A blue handbag. A cocktail glass. A miniature ice tongs. And the second pair of hands with long manicured nails. Yes. A close up of the accessory drawer. And finally, the vintage ice bucket. She comes with an alternate pair of legs with articulated ankle feet. The acrylic base of the doll stand with the Poppy Parker logo on it. And the pole of the stand. Now, let's take her out of the box. Look at this screening, so pretty. If you are wondering, her eyes are brown, like a brownish grey colour. She comes with a blue tunic style dress sewn of embroidery and beads. And her short manicured nails are painted in gold.
Let's remove the hairnet. She has a long, fall black hair styled like a sort of updo ponytail. I love the curls. Very late 60s. David said she has the same hairstyle as the commanding attention Poppy Parker. There is some product on the bump, but not too much. Here is a patchwork of inspirations for this doll. The shape of the dress, the colors, hairstyle and makeup. Now, let's take a closer look at her accessories. She comes with an alternate pair of hands with long manicured nails. Thank you, David. That's a great addition, and I would love that every Poppy Parker has a second pair of long nail hands. Here is the faux leather handbag with golden chain accent. It can be opened with a zip. The pastel blue color is very nice and the texture of the fabric is very soft to the touch. She comes with blue and gold pumps for high heeled feet. A second pair of metallic gold strappy low heels for articulated ankle feet. Here is a set of jewellery including a pair of blue and gold mod earrings, a cuff bracelet with blue stone detail and a matching ring, and gold oversized sunglasses. The miniature liquor bottle accessory. It says Tutti Frutti, sparkling orange. A miniature tropical cocktail glass. There is a mini slice of lemon and a straw. It's so cute. And now, a new accessory. A vintage inspired ice bucket. You can see the proportions of these accessories with the doll. It's so well made. The golden ice tongs accessory for the ice. Here are the ice cubes. Mmm, excuse me. Can we call these ice cubes? No, I call them big diamonds. Honestly, I'm disappointed. It was the occasion to show us real miniature ice cubes, not diamond shapes. I really don't understand the concept. 
Unless Poppy only uses frozen diamonds for her drinks. Here are the flat feet with articulated ankles. You know what I think of them. I don't like them and I will never use them. I think it's very disgracious on dolls in my opinion. It's time to undress her to show you her outfit in detail. She comes with blue satin panties matching her dress. Her dress is described as a robin's egg blue chiffon tunic dress, trimmed in gold embroidery with beaded details. It was inspired by the dashiki, a loose brightly coloured tunic originally from West Africa. Very popular in the late 60s, early 70s. The bright pastel blue colour looks just great on her. Here she is, totally dressed with her accessories. Let's place the doll on the stand so we can look at all the details. This poppy is totally selling the vibe that this collection is going for, with the theme of Palm Springs. Again, David Buttery did a great job. She's so beautiful in person. I'm really excited to discover the next girls of this Palm Springs collection. So, what do you think of this Poppy Parker Resort Ready? Don't hesitate to comment. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell to be notified of new videos every week. Stay safe. I see you guys again very soon. Bye for now.